The Weekend News with Krista Bradford and Jack Hopper, tonight at 6. Today, our champion, Owen Martin of Sanford, Maine, faces the challenge of Tom Surrett of North Gilreca on Camel Pin Bowling. Hi, everybody. Welcome once again to Camel Pin Bowling. I'm Don Gillis, and I guess just about everybody knows by now that this program is on videotape. We do our taping right here at Sammy White's Striking Bowl, and we sometimes do it several weeks before you actually see the telecast. It is always three strings of candle pin bowling, and it will be total pinfall which will determine our winner. He will be rewarded with a tangible souvenir, a marble lace trophy from the Ace Trophy Company of Boston. The runner-up receives a smaller but otherwise identical version to indicate he participated on our show. We have guaranteed prize money of $1,150. 700 to the winner, 300 to the uh, runner-up, and $50 to the winner of each string. And obviously, should they tie, they would split that at $25 apiece. This certificate uh, is a $50 gift certificate from True Value Hardware Stores and Home Centers. That goes to our marksman of the day, the bowler with the most marks. There's a lot of other ways they can make money, but let's meet the bowler, shall we, first of all? Okay. Tom Surrett, that's a familiar name since uh, your brother Peter was here not too long ago and right at the moment is in third place for our True Value Championship. Are you here to knock him out of that? Uh, no, just to join him. <laughs> <laughs> well, in third place, obviously that leaves a couple of more right behind him that you could knock off. Uh, does this put a little extra pressure on you because he did so well? Oh, a lot of extra pressure. A lot of extra. Yeah. Everybody's expecting, oh, you got to go on and beat your brother. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> 400 so, so hard to do. Bragging rights at home anyway, huh? Yeah, he has them. Okay, and you've got a tough comp opponent right here because uh, Owen Martin came on last week and just uh, blasted Don Richmond right out of there starting off with a mark. Feel confident? Uh, well, I've thrown a good ball last week and hopefully uh, this week they'll still straight stay in the eye straight in the second string, but uh, hoping, hoping to do well again. Well, you both have great averages. It should be a good match. We'll get started with it right after this. Candle Pin Bowling is sponsored in part by your neighborhood True Value Hardware Store. All right, here is today's challenger, Tom Surrett of North Bilreka. League average, 123. Nothing left except the 10 pin. Tom's high single, 192. High triple, 464, and he had a 663 in winning his roll off. And he begins with a spare. This is Tom's fifth appearance on our show overall. Spare leave as he gets a drop of eight and has on the left the four and seven. And that's the way to start with a pair of spares. Now here is our defending champion who made his first appearance on our show last week, and it was a winning one, Owen Martin. Well, he started with a spare last week. He starts with a strike this week. Owen with a high single of 203, a high triple of 469, a league average of 119, and a roll-off score of 740. Three strikes in a row on our program is worth an additional bonus of $1,000 and each subsequent consecutive strike in that same string after those three would be worth $1,000 apiece. He's waiting for a piece of wood to settle down. Of course, those are the rules which we adhere to strictly when we're doing this. The wood must have settled before the bowler fires. For a spare? Yes. So we've got nothing but smudges up on the board. Both bowlers now going for bonus money in the third box. Tom Surratt. Six is the fill. 
He's got the one, two, four, and he's got the ten with wood in front of it. And make that very pretty spare for $50 in bonus money for Tom Surrett. Very pretty. Now for four in a row. It'll be tough. He's got a split. Boy, he gets action, doesn't he? So it'll be $50 in bonus money for three marks in a row, and now he'll be trying to make a 10 out of it. Nine. Tom was very young when he came on our program for the first time. It was back in August of 1972. And he uh, failed to unseat Dave Romani. Excuse me, he beat Dave Romani that time. It was later when he was uh, defeated by Joe Delisio. Oh, and Martin gets himself a nine drop. Ralph Stewart calls time. He has to check on this piece of wood to see whether it is this side of the Deadwood line. If it is this side of the Deadwood line and stops, then it will have to be removed. He's waiting to see if it stops. It has. It is removed. It is highly unlikely that Owen would have used it anyway since it was so far away from the single pin. But this is for $50. Yes, $50 in bonus money. And a strike. So he's up to $100 in bonus money. What a start for Owen Martin. And of course, Tom Surrett started off with three marks in a row, $50 in bonus money. And so the score at the end of four is a rather substantial looking score. It is uh, Tom Surrett, our challenger, 59, and our defending champion, Owen Martin, 69, with two bonus balls to roll. Here is Tom Surrett, our challenger, on the line now for the fifth box of the first string. The three pin becomes the object pin. He has three, six, ten, and then he has seven, eight. Not quite. All except the eight. The ten. As I said, Tom was very young when he came on. He defeated Dave Romani, rolling a 358. Then the next week uh, beat Joe Carcidi with a 359. Lost to Joe Delisio. Oh, but the seven. And in his last appearance, which was a challenge against Steve Vadney, Vadney rolled a 405 that day to defeat him. And a spare. Four marks in a row so far now for Owen Martin. And as you know, any combination of threes, strikes or spares, establishes the bonus of $50. Then each subsequent consecutive mark in that same string is worth $50 a piece as long as he can keep it going. All right, the one pin is up there. He has the seven and the nine and two pieces of wood. One piece of wood is rolling aside and out of the way, the one that uh, he hoped to be able to use to get the seven. Okay, so the bonus string stops right there. However, the fill was nine on the, the strike. And that puts him up to 78 through four. And with this pin, it will be 88 through five. Owen is the co-record holder 
of the highest single string on the WCBC Pro Tour, 203. He and Tony Kriegus have rolled 203s. And it's a strike. So he's open only in the fifth. And he's got an absolutely super string going. He missed $100 in bonus money last week by rolling a 399. Had it been a 400, it would have been worth an extra $100. Tom Surrett. That's a drop of seven, and he has a spare leave. He turned around in disgust with himself as soon as he released the ball, knowing he was not going to hit the object pin. As we mentioned, Tom's brother Peter is in third place toward our championship show right now, having rolled a 414. Now he has a spare leave. The six and nine, three pieces of wood, two of them usable. He chooses to use uh, one of them and make the spare. A strike up on the board right now for Owen Martin, our defending champion, the owner manager of the Bolarama and uh, Museum Falls Tavern in Sanford, Maine. As everyone knows, three strikes in a row, it's an additional bonus of $1,000. He's had three strikes in this string, but not in a row. That is a tough, tough spare leave. As you know, it's the old Woolworth, the five and 10. Nine. Last week he opened with a 155. Right now he's at 115 with three boxes to go. Half Worcester left as he punched out the two and eight. A lot of action but not quite enough to knock down the three pins on the right. A nine box. $425 in our high-low jackpot, the 1710. Too full on the head pin, almost a spread eagle. That was an excellent try, considering the number of pins he had standing and where they were displaced. Tom having a little difficulty with that foot foul line where uh, the piece of black plastic goes across there. He seems to strike that a few times and make the ball bounce high, and obviously it doesn't allow it to go exactly where he wants it to. Now that time, it was a clean delivery past it, and he has an excellent spare lead. Four and eight. The eight fell down because he touched a little piece of wood, but he missed the important one. His league average is 123. He has just rolled an opening 128, but the way Owen Martin is going, that uh, doesn't look like too much. Owen already at 124 with two boxes to go. Okay, he's gonna be tested. Here's the diamond. Nope, and again the diamond wins. Boy, how often we say that. Nine box. 
133. $50 to the winner of each string, so give Owen Martin another $50 in bonus money for winning the first string. Spare leave. He's got the three, five, six. No. So the best he can do is a 143. And it's a 141. And Tom Surratt congratulates him. But as we said, Owen Martin has won the first string. Knows, however, that in the last four boxes, when he was already at 106 through six, he threw three nines and an eight. And he had an opportunity for an absolutely sensational string after six boxes. But there it is after one. Our defending champion, Owen Martin, 141. Our challenger, Tom Surratt, 128. In the middle string of our matches, the defending champion leads it off. He's Owen Martin of Sanford, Maine. There's a break as two more pins went down. He's left with just the one and two. That is definitely a spare leave. The one only, and some groans from a lot of folks who have come down from Sanford, Maine, to be here to root for him. but one. The six pin preventing him from getting a strike. Piece of wood that's rolling off. So the six stands alone. Spare in the second. Now Tom Surrett, today's challenger from North Billerica. Originally from North Reading, now living in North Billerica. He would like to have seen the five pin go down, but he is facing the two, four, five right now. And makes it. So as he began the first string with a mark, he does also the second. In the first, he had three marks in a row for $50 in bonus money. And subsequent to that, picked up two more spares later. He wanted that seven to go down. Now there is a tough split. Six and seven. Six and seven. Now he's got a piece of wood up against the six, which he's going to try to kick across if he can. I would assume he's looking that over carefully. There's another piece of wood over that is uh, nearer to the left side. But oh, he tried. He tried. He wanted to get to the right side of that six pin and move everything that he could over. Now he tried the other piece of wood and finds that neither of them would have helped, so it is an eight box. Eight fill, eight box. The hand for Ralph Stewart. Keith Williams is keeping score on that big scoreboard today and Bruce Goldman keeping score beside me. Here's Owen Martin on the line. Misses the head pin. There's Ralph Stewart, our love line judge and referee, not wearing that uh, American lawn bowling team sweatshirt that he was wearing last week. We shamed him, I think. No, a little too full on the head pin. It's a 10.
The five move, but it didn't go down. So he's left with that, again, Woolworth split five and ten, but he's got a little piece of wood. great try a great try in fact it was so good that he moved the five pin parallel on a parallel plane that didn't go deep enough to get the ten it's almost impossible to move them on a parallel plane but he did sometimes for example if one were trying to get uh, a four and six it would be almost impossible to do what he did Tom Surrett All right, Tom has not quite a spread eagle, but he has three pins on the right, and the three pin becomes his object. But he didn't get it. Tom is married and has two children. He works as a production scheduler at H.P. Hood and is representing the Candlewood Lanes. Got a break. Ten went down. He didn't think it was going to go. So now he has four and eight to pick up for a spare. Missing the four. And again, dropping it just too soon. So Owen Martin has added one pin to his lead. As you can see, he was leading by 13 at the end of one. He's added one more at the end of four here. It is Martin 45, Surrett 44. Defending champion Owen Martin on the line now. In addition to being the owner-manager of the Bolarama in Sanford, Maine, he's also representing Boutwell's Bolamore. That's the one, the seven, and nine, with uh, wood beside the one and up against the seven. Yes. Pretty, 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 pretty spare. Almost too full on the head pin that time, but he gets six. Three pins on the right, but it's going to be tough to pick up the four in addition to the three, six, ten. That is a tough shot to try to go over there and get that four. Nine. And a bit of a frown at missing that. He knows he's up against a good bowler, and he knows that every pin counts. Tom Surratt. All right, Tom has four horsemen right side and tucked in the back the nine pin. One piece of wood that's rolling a little bit. Now he's ready. He's made it. Well done. Nope, just a thin hit, only five. And of course, what hurts is that uh, it means it's very difficult to convert the spear out of this. Really bounced it off that football line. Nine.
Defending champion Owen Martin. Strike. Even those of you who are unsighted, and I know there are many of you who do listen, or as you like to say yourself, watch the show, you could tell that that had to be a strike. Too full on the head pin as he punches it out and almost gets himself a spread ego. Still four pins left. So the fill is six on the strike. Trying for the three on the left, he gets two of them. It's an eight box. Now Tom Surrett. So far, all the bonus money has been in the first string, either within the string or by winning it. Tom Surrett put three together right off the top for $50 in bonus money. Owen Martin put four together for 100 and then won the string. Tom cannot believe that he just missed a single pin and missed it by that much. He just can't believe it and missed it again. So it is a nine, and uh, he cannot afford to do that, which he well knows. One, two, four, and eight, with wood in front of the eight. And the spare goes. Martin, our defending champion. Big hit. Everything except the eight pin. One piece of wood all by itself off to the left. And uh, I think he's going to have to use it. Yes, he did. That was dangerous. It was uh, maybe a lot more dangerous than you thought. He had to play that just right in order to get it as you can see right there. Too full, and there's the spread ego. That's up to about uh, $1,700 right now on our Friday night attempt at the spread eagle. Pretty shot for the 10. Beautiful 10. It would have been a sensational spare. Tom Surratt, here's the bonus ball. And he gets how many? Five. Four horsemen left side, and inside he has the nine pin, but he's got a piece of wood up against the nine pin, which might help. Nope. So he needs a mark if he's going to win this string. He's going to have to pick up the uh, kingpin because the walls of the castle came tumbling down, but the king is there all alone, the five. He bounced it, but still made it. All right. So that puts him right now at 112. And he needs seven to win $50 for winning the middle string. Seven or better is what he needs to win the string. He did not do it. Just three. And so Owen Martin picks up another $50 in bonus money.
Tom Surrett had his opportunity to do it and just cannot believe it. He threw a three and he needed a seven. And the score at the end of two. Defending champion Owen Martin from Sanford, Maine, 259. Challenger Tom Surrett from North Billerica, 243. Challenger Tom Surrett on the line now, trailing by 16 pins. Good way to start. Looked like a good ball going down there, except he keeps bouncing it off that uh, football line, the, the hard plastic that goes across there. Three pins to pick up for the spare. He didn't get it. So eight is the fill, and now he'll be trying to make this a ten box. It's nine. Owen Martin has won both strings and at one time put four marks in a row together at the start of the first string for $100 in bonus money. He missed the head pin. Now he has the one, two, four on the left and over on the right, the six and 10. Nope, right through the space. Took the three on the left and made an eight box. So at the moment, Tom Surrett has picked up 10 pins and uh, the lead goes down to six. But Owen Martin has himself a spare leave here with the five and eight. He slipped just as he was delivering it, and as a result, held it for a fraction too long and took the eight and missed the five. Seven pins right now, that's the lead. Tom Surrett winds up with uh, five and six, Seven and ten. Wood across the five and the six. Boy, great try. But the seven is still there. Nine. Each bowler very, very much aware of how important single pins are especially when it's this close. Oh, baby, he has the five pin, but he's got a piece of wood that is very dangerous. It's almost a roadblock. He has to be extremely careful working on this. Got it, okay. Made it look easy. Owen Martin. Strike! <laughs> Missed the head pin and chopped off to the right. Just got three. And in the same spot.
And it's a five box. There's a break for Tom Serrett as he gets a big nine. And he made the spare. So Tom Serrett has taken the lead. And a big strike on top of that. $50 in bonus money more for Tom Surrett. $100, and he has taken the lead. All right, Owen Martin has some work to do right now if he's going to catch up again. Missed the head pin again. One, two, four, six, and ten. That's a tough situation. The one is the object pin, and no, he didn't get it. He was trying to just hit the outside edge of the number one, kick it into the two. So it's a nine. Fourteen pins, that's the... Uh, the lead now for the challenger. That's one, three, and nine. And a piece of wood. Nine still there. That often happens. You'll split the one, three, or the one, two, and not get the eight or nine in the back. That puts him at 55. Tom Surrett. Tom Surrett has two strikes in a row, and I don't have to tell you another thing, except also that it is four marks in a row, which gives him another $50 in bonus money. He's up to 150, but we know what he will be trying to do right now. Not quite. Two pins still standing, or it would have been an extra thousand dollars. However, he has a chance for another mark. That's the three and five with wood. Didn't get it. Cost him fifty dollars in bonus money right there. And as you can see, he can hardly believe it. Ralph Stewart has gone down there. Check it out. Ralph, part of our gang, of course. Bill Rubin is our producer director. Don Riley, our statistician, and Joanne Panto is our secretary. We have introduced the other participants. Owen Martin has four boxes to pull this out. Boy, that is a... I wouldn't want to be facing that and having to make it. Two, five, and ten. Oh! He made it! What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spare. Oh, what a honey that was. Gee. Just sensational. All right, he got a nine drop. And a chance for another right now. That, that may very well have done it right there. That may very well have done it because with a mark there and perhaps two more, could have done it. It's a 10. And it's a 32 pin lead right now for 
our challenger. See whether he can get this or not. No, he did not. So he will not make 400. Good 10 for a 151. And a 394. to have a 135 to tie. No, no mark there either. So Tom Surrett picks up another $50 in bonus money for winning the third string. Martin could still pick up a thousand dollars with three strikes. Nope. And a ten. A 104. He still picked up $200 in bonus money. Well, each bowler picked up $200 in bonus money. The difference being that Tom Surrett is our new champion and gets the $700. And uh, Owen Martin will pick up uh, the $300. Right now we have $425 in our Hilo jackpot. And Tom Surrett is going to get first try at that. We're starting all over again in our home viewer jackpot at $50. And the final score, as you see it up there, is Tom Surrett, 394, and Owen Martin, 363. Well, the first thing we'll take care of, obviously, is going to be our home viewer jackpot. It's starting all over again at 50, which explains, obviously, why there are so few cards in there, as opposed to how many were in last week. Uh, as you know, we ask you to limit it to one card per person per day and that when we do have a winner, we empty it all out again. What we're asking you to do is guess what the total pinfall would be, both bowlers combined on a day that you would hope that your card would be chosen. Uh, you put your guests, include your name and address, and please send it along to this address, which would be Candleton Bowling, WCBB-TV, 5 TV Place, Needham, Massachusetts, zip code number 02192. And each week that we don't have a winner, we keep adding $50 until it builds up to, for example, last week it was up to $600. We're starting all over again at $50 here. However, remember, whenever I draw a card, if that person is nowhere near today's total of $757 or the 10 we allow either side, which would be $747 or $767, he or she will be at least rewarded with these prizes. Ames Professional Bypass Style Pruning Shears with surgical steel blades designed to cut close to the stem. Blades are fully adjustable and replaceable. Ames Pruning Shears, the tool preferred by professionals. And an Acromill 16-inch toolbox offers premium capacity in a minimum size box, constructed to carry up to 60 pounds of tools. Acromill Toolbox, to help out with all your home improvements. And Peterson's 5-inch vice grip locking pliers with wire cutter. Tremendous power in a small tool. Peterson vice grip pliers, strong enough for big jobs, small enough to carry in your pocket. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see if we have a $50 winner or not. Anywhere from $747 to $767 will win it. And uh, let's see, why don't we go over here in the corner somewhere and pull this one out. And this one uh, comes from uh, Jeanette. Uh, you know something? I have to put my glasses on to see this. I knew this was going to happen someday. Uh, Jeanette Gavin of Harwich, Massachusetts, and her guess is seven. 77. So we add another $50. It's up to $100 uh, for next week. And right now, 425 in the high low jackpot. And Tom Surratt has first try at it. Okay, Owen. Still there. Oh, I thought you had it, didn't you? Okay, Tom, we come up here. Owen, would you get here, please, in front? And uh, I always have to give one of these small ones to somebody sometime. Hey, listen, it was a real pleasure having nice you here, here, and I enjoyed having whole, that whole gang uh, that came down to, to root yeah. for you in the bus. Yeah, it was nice having them. And you are going to come back and see us again, I know, soon. Let's see how much, uh, how much do we have for you. We have $300 plus $200 in bonus money, so it wasn't a bad two weeks then, huh? No. Nope. Great. All right, we'll look forward to seeing you again, and uh, when the folks come up to Sanford, Maine, they should stop in at the Museum Tavern. Mouse and Falls. Uh, okay. Mouse and Falls. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, all right. Okay. Good luck to you. Thank you, Don. All right, Tommy, you. you did it, huh? Thank you. Uh, yeah, for a while there, boy, what a struggle, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, I was terrible the first two strings. Well, you get the big trophy from the Ace Trophy Company. You also get our certificate, $50 gift certificate from True Value Hardware Store. You get the game of Candlepin Bowling for being a first-time winner this year. And uh, sub most important, $700 plus $200 in bonus money. And uh, although you didn't uh, not, uh, join your brother yet uh, up there, you came to 394, and so you have another opportunity anyway. You're going to uh, get another crack at it next week. Yeah, give it my best, that's all. That's all you can do. And uh, the son of one of our best bowlers and a long time, Mike Sanek's son, Jack, is going to be your challenger, so you bring along your best bowling too, will you? Thank you. Until then, for the whole...